and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Leona LeBlanc, our second random champion deck today. We're going to be playing um, a mostly all daybreak deck with a little bit of reputation sprinkled in. A nice mid-range pairing. I think that these two should, should pair pretty well together. They're on a different spot of the curve. They both like attacking. Leona uh, and the daybreak stuff stuns a lot of things. You know, like, of course, Leona's doing a lot of stunning. Your Sunhawk does some stunning. The stuns work well with Noxus. Um, because you have Arachnoid Sentry that can also stun, and then you got Ravenous Flock. So Ravenous Flock can pair with any of these stun cards, so that's a nice pairing. Plus how LeBlanc is aggressive and dealing damage. If you're stunning stuff, you're stunning blockers, and you, you kind of get rewarded for doing the stuns because you can help finish the game out and get, you know, attacking in. So we're going to have LeBlanc, so we're going to have a couple Kato the Arms that can grant Overwhelm to these larger uh, things, because a lot of the Daybreak cards are pretty good-sized bodies also. So Kato will be able to grant Overwhelm for the turn. Um, also can help cards like Sunhawk, Solari Soldier, Arachnoid Sentry. Can help by even Loping Telescope. Can help these small things um, get up to uh, 5 damage for a reputation. Um, let's see. Even though we don't particularly have any cards that care specifically about reputation, I guess. Because we're not playing the, the Whisper Words. Um, oh, I guess we do. Yeah, we have inside. I thought we had one. There we go. We have Incisive Tactician, right? That's our other Noxus card to rally. Um, so, you know, like maybe we stun some stuff. We play this. We rally. Uh, you know, that could be a pretty good combination. We also have Zenith Blades with the Overwhelm, right? Giving like LeBlanc plus one plus two in Overwhelm. Make a 6-4 quick attack Overwhelm. Like that could be really cool. So I think that's a good combination. So we got those in there. And uh, with the early game... I'm playing Loping Telescope over Solari Shield Bear. We thought about this one quite a bit. Obviously, the Shield Bear has the Daybreak, so that's good for the Leona level up. And whenever you, the round you play it, being a 3 6, that's a really good card, and it really incent like, it keeps your opponent from attacking for that one round. But every other round after that, it's just a generic 3 2, which is not a very good card, right? You wouldn't play a generic. Uh, just three two for two like you like three twos for twos always have like other bonuses and things like that that they give you um so just being doing nothing else it's really not a very good card and so we're just gonna play loping telescope instead that's gonna be like one thing because loping telescope pretty busted so we'll try that out we can even get like the double stun or you know some random epic you know y'all know how good this card is so we're gonna play this over the shield bear even though it's not a daybreak card we still have lots of other daybreak cards in here um, there's, I think, 19, if I remember right, other Daybreak cards, something like that. Um, so plenty of other to level up Leona. Heavens Aligned is just, a, has really good utility at different times. Either we can create a different Daybreak card in hand, like with the Nightfall, if we want, or, of course, you know, we can play it as a Daybreak. Um, either way, we can also, like, it's also just amazing with Robin, because if you have Robin in play, then it's always Day. So whenever you play this, with Nightfall, it still counts the Daybreak as well. So for one mana, you get to create two different cards in hand um, when you have a Robin in play. So those two are perfect together. So we're going to play the Heaven's Lines. All right, let's get to it. Let's play some Leona LeBlanc. We'll go play our five games. I feel like this could definitely be a ranked deck. Honestly, Timo Hecarim looked real good. I think Timo Hecarim could be a ranked deck. But we're it's random champion day. We just kind of play over a normal just to test out these. Uh, random champion pairings and see how they do. Echo Vi. All right, I'm going to keep Robin, even though Robin's a five mana card. You don't usually want to keep too expensive of cards, but Robin is, this is probably like the card for our deck. Like it just makes everything else uh, better. Heads up. Ours is the one true light. This would be a good Ravenous Flock hand. This would be a very good Ravenous Flock hand. History forgets, but the Black Rose remembers. You have to imagine... Ooh! Is it, you have to imagine they're a Mystic Shot deck. That's not a Mystic Shot right there. Okay, okay. Want to make me a few extra boards? Yes! I, I mean, sure, you know, whatever. Oh. 
The dawn has arrived. Zenith Blade would be really nice on the uh, LeBlanc. But then they could just Mystic Shot in response. I would be attack I was gonna be attacking with the two one into the one one. I, I like trading there, but since they have the one three, I don't really want to attack my two one into the one three. Daylight Everlasting. Do we make Create Heavens Aligned? Oh, we got Sun Guardian. <laughs> Sun Guardian pretty big. So next round we either go like Sun Guardian attack. Oh, I don't I don't have enough mana for all three of these. I was gonna say, or we could go Sun Hawk and Sentry and Zenith Blade, but I don't have enough mana for all three. We'll have seven mana. We'll go and go Sunhawk, double stun. And then probably Sunforger. Stun. Glorious light rains down. One more mana would have been really nice to be able to play Zenith Blade and Just Sentry. I got you, little guy. Could have sworn he said something. Forger, your work is unparalleled. Blades bright, forged in solstice heat. For them. Behold my work. Power before our might. Ten. All right, so th that levels up Le LeBlanc, and then we're at five. Yeah, I can't. I can't really see if I can get like a mirror image. I can't really. A one mana mirror image. I can't get a one mana mirror image. Just do this. We'll just go to 10. So we're about to gain 5 again. So we're going to be going to 15. I am everywhere. I am everyone. Yeah, the stun units can't attack because it, you know, it just says attack with everything that you have. I mean, that's... That works like that. So we're at 15. What a treat. So now will be that'll be another fifteen, and then this will be fourteen. So we're gonna be one short of making of just making one mana mirror image. No, I mean it's just I don't think it's worth the two life to have put two damage on the Sunhawk. Yeah, we could add the two three block the two one, but it's it's again it's an ephemeral thing. So you know, like if we make that block, we're at seventeen. No, not like not making that block, we're at fifteen. I think I'll just keep the two health on the Sunhawk. Oh, never mind. All right, so we're gonna be at thirteen.
Does Chrono Break put in exact copies? All coming back to me now. This is my future. No mercy for heretics. Yeah, they so they definitely have Chrono Break. 100% have Chrono Break. They're making this attack. Is 6 safe? I would think so. I don't think they're going to be playing a bunch of Get Excited's and Mystic Shots. Maybe they are. you like it. Bask in the light's radiance. What's up, Dan? Yeah, our deck's looking pretty bright. It's like, we're, we're gonna kill them. It's just... If they can do four to my Nexus, I don't think it's slow speed anyway, right? Like, it's it's all fast speed stuff anyway, right? So might as well, you know, stun this Echo. Yeah, so they have the Chrono Break. We're gonna stun your stuff. Kinda want a mirror image, the Sunforger. Get another 6-6 six, six lifesteal overwhelm. But that'll do. Soul Invictus. It's a good combo having Robin and Leona. Alright, Ziggs Poppy. So we're gonna be playing against Meta. Let's see what we can do against Meta. Oh, it's a slow hand. I guess we have to... Man, Robin is so important to us, but they're such an aggressive deck. We have to start out faster. Can we get a Ravenous Flock one time? Where's my axe? Ravenous Flock one time. We've got a lot of LeBlancs. I'll do better this time. I'm thinking about playing like LeBlanc Zenith Blade next round. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. No, maybe we just get the Sunhawk and play, get another thing and play. History forgets, but the Black Rose remembers. <laughs> you will play LeBlanc and you will like it. <laughs> That's what our deck's telling us. So they have two random spells we don't know about. Which are probably going to be pretty good spells. Noxus is a good region for spells. Remember that first game we got blown out by Transfusion. Or I guess that was that was with the Teemo Hecarim. We got blown out by this thing getting Transfusion. Oh, why am I not attacking with the 2-3 also? I should. Yeah, because I don't... I mean, I guess, so they would have blocked and then killed my, my 2-3. Alright, maybe it's good we end. Sing with the darkness in your heart. 
light breaks on the battlefield. Bask in the light's radiance. Okay, ready. Face my shield. So that one's easy. This is me still taking eight damage. If we block here, we take six and go to ten. Block here, we take five, go to eleven. That one point of damage could be the difference. But then again, like here, I'll have you know, like I'll have the two one to be able to block later. I'm not getting any younger. That's an expensive card. If they don't break, they'll burn. Make the Empire proud. Devotion to battle. Easy does it. The Black Rose blooms once more. I research. Man, we're just like one away from everything. We're one away from having these cost one mana, which is a big deal. We're one away from the daybreak. Level up. Ooh, okay. Ugh, no. Play something else before attacking. So I can sentry and stun and all that kind of stuff. This, this, this. No, Robin. Robin more important, but I guess that doesn't kill Ziggs. Uh, I guess Useless. All right, final answer. You are paying my game. Our goal is definitely to kill them next round. Places to go, people to be. That's why you always carry another pair of goggles. Don't kill either one. Oh, they killed that one. Last light. They don't have lots of cards. Kato? Oh, this is a tough choice. So Kato... Man, why can't we have one more mana? Why can't we play Kato and Sentry? Or Kato and Zenith Blade. I guess I get Mirror Image in Kato. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. I guess we don't need a stun if we get that. Those both represent eight power overwhelm, I guess. Okay. So we'll have you, go to you, go to you. So that's 17 overwhelm power. They have eight. That should be exact lethal. Yes, it is. G to the G. Nine health, eight. Nine health with the Nexus, eight health with the units, seventeen. Closer. I didn't. I didn't actually have a specific deck that I used to hit Diamond. I we play just different decks every single day. I don't really play one deck. Um, the, the Garen decks that I played recently have done really well. I got three Garen videos up on YouTube. The first two are up. The next one's going up after the stream today, and all three of those Garen decks I did really well with. Pike Rexai. 
I want to keep the heavens aligned. It's really cheap. Daybreak enabler. So this deck's looking good. That was a, you know, Ziggs Poppy is an awesome deck. That was a good win. I've been losing to Lurkers last few times I played against it. And this hand doesn't look so good. Looks very slow. At least they've missed. Alright, stun that, so then they attack there, get one buff. I kill Cascade. Keep my thing alive. Block that. That worked out. First time seeing a block. Alright, so that's worked out so far. Let's save Leona for defensive turn. History forgets, but the Black Rose remembers. And we're gonna play LeBlanc. This game's really worked out well for me. So far, that doesn't mean that we can't lose. It's just worked out well for me so far. So we've only had one day break. We're a long ways away from leveling up Leona. Hmm. Alright, so this card's just a regular old pike. Wow. Oh, that's a Morning Light. I thought that was another Heavens Aligned. That was another Heavens Aligned. That would have been awesome. Because another Heavens Aligned levels up Leona right here. But alas, it was not. Yeah, Teemo Hecarim did well. Yeah, absolutely. It looked good. The problem with this is that they could have like a good pike attack. I guess pike can do a little bit of damage, I guess. I am the bulwark against getting the, darkness. It's probably it's probably a good idea to wait for morning light getting like more of these daybreak cards in play before morning light. We'll go ahead and do this. I don't want them just to, to challenge. <clears throat> so we should do some stunning. We'll go stun, stun, get some big stuff, make it like where they can't really attack. Also create a random daybreak card. We rise. Sunburst. Good call. That worked out better. Oh, we stun all of it. Right, that, that thing has Leona do, does two stuns, and then the Sunhawk does one. Okay. So we got nine mana. Sunforger Lifesteal or Solari Priestess. I kind of want to do that again, so we could like Solari Priestess and then Morning Light. Get one of, the, get one of these. Bask in her radiant blessing. Bask in the light's radiance. You always no! 
jawfish? Oh, this is looking so good. Jawfish. Oh no. Oh, that hurts. Man, I thought it was going to be Lurkers. I, I have been losing to Lurkers like every time we play against Lurkers. I've lost like, a, like my last five or so times playing against this deck. That wasn't a randomly generated Jellfish. That was them actually playing Jellfish. So we have a Tom Kench deck. So this is, you know, going to be a Tom Kench capture deck. They're going to be playing Detains and those kind of cards. That is not the Tom Kench having tough, so that's good. I see all. I will take not Tom Kench having tough. Raise your weapon, Sunwin. Majors can't hide from me. Yeah, they're going to probably have Unyielding Spirit. <clears throat> Sharp Sight's obviously a card, right? So, like, the Trickster... Maybe I should have just taken the 2 man to do anyway, but... Ooh, taking it all. I don't change fate, but I can see it. Didn't really expect them to take it all. Stand in judgment! You can't outrun justice. You have no. It seems like an awesome combo and stuff, but they're just killing like you know half of a loping telescope in a one drop. So it's not like they really killed anything important. Our sun will not set today. Not with that attitude, at least. Uh, let's go ahead and play this. Okay. Get more information. About our cards, play another Daybreak card for Leona. We find a Leona. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Lights the way. Yeah, so I want to find Obliterates because of Unyielding Spirit, and also Obliterates are just good against Tom Kent and everything. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for like when I was doing the Slaughter Priestess, looking for Obliterates. I'm just gonna play Loving Telescope. Looking for Equinox with the Loping Telescope, right? Like an Equinox would have been really nice. I can't. I can't kill that thing now. I wasn't expecting to detain right away. They could be playing Purify. They could purify their own Persuader. So I don't ever get it back. I see all. You can't outrun justice. You have no alibi. You can't outrun justice. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Redouble the power. I've been propagating quite the appetite. <laughs> I see feast in your future. I guess they probably don't have anything that heals, I don't know.
Okay, got a Bayou Brunch out of their hand also. Not only killed the Persuader like I wanted to. Got that slow speed card out of their hand. It's a problem with Bayou Brunch being slow speed. Let us prove this establishment fair. Alright, no Obliterate. We'll take the Equinox for the Persuader. That's how that is. Discipline and conviction. Is open attack worth it? Maybe just stacking the two three fours. This is outrage. Okay. You look guilty. Not bad. Clean up the board a little bit. Not bad. Not bad. Gonna get some big bodies in play. I will keep us safe. Arm yourselves with holy sunlight. I guess I could have done that the other way around. Got the lifesteal first. I yeah, I didn't think they were gonna be in combat anyway. Appetizers of plenty. I could see me casting the tactician here. Out our attackers. You and me. Let's go. Suspicious. Can't quite turn on reputation. Have three. Another nibble. I'm down to one. I think we got this. I'm pretty sure we got this. Then we also have the tactician to rally. Okay. Three and one with Leona LeBlanc. Our deck's just pretty solid. Our decks looked really good. It's just we lost to this jawfish that was just, you know, one-sided board wipe. Besides that. Bandle City, Bilgewater, probably Burn. I kind of want to keep a Robin. Like, we have so much done that Flock's usually great. I guess we'll send back Robin, but I kind of want to keep Robin. But we'll keep one Flock. I knew I was going to regret keeping a Flock. Okay. Got Loping Telescope. Loping Telescope can be multiple bodies for us. Otter is pretty good. Usually I'll just take the Charger, but they probably have a bunch of one damage little things. I think I'm going to take this Poro Sled. Poro Sled seems pretty cool with LeBlanc, but so did the other card. The Poro Sled's a little cheaper.
Zenith Blade LeBlanc. Baddies beware, Mama's got a gun. I hate having to put my face on. Let's cook them. <laughs> oh, they took a charger. Oh, didn't attack with the charger. Maybe I should take an AV charger. They should just be going wide here, have like have the one one challenge and be attacking for more. And I should have grabbed a, a the charger to be able to play a charger. Finally. Something good. Oh. Okay. That's not bad. Let's see, where are you? Yeah, because you're at 8 out of 15. Mm, do I keep you alive? Yeah, I should keep you alive. Be in the 6 4 and everything. Yeah, I should keep that alive. You are paying my I'm not taking that much damage, only 5. Okay, so that's going to be 12 Overwhelm. Doesn't kill him. But does a lot of damage. Anyway. Not yet, at least. Oh, that's nice. Getting another... Getting a blocker. That's nice. Cool, and we got rid of their two impact cards. Oh, right. I was supposed to have LeBlanc second. I would have dealt one more point of damage. Have this first. Right, right. I, I was even thinking about that too, but I forgot to do that. So they could be at eight right now, because it could have been seven overwhelm instead of six overwhelm. Okay, good card, good card. One short with a reputation for playing that. Yeah, they're not giving me an opportunity to stun with these open attacks. Okay, so now we got reputation enabled. So now we go inside some tactician. Let the blood, then stop the heart. One more mana, you know, if we didn't have like if we didn't play that one one, you know, I could mirror image the inside of tactician rally again. Oh, I've Just never met rally. anyone like you. Why why am I not paying attention to this? It's 14. Is that all you got? Yeah, like this is not a good use of that, but we're only just making this cost one less. Currents, keep me. Wait. Actually, wait, because we're going to make that cost one less, and then we get to copy the incisive tactician again. Actually, wait, this is going to be amazing. Still fine. But 
they play an owl cat. Oh, they play that same thing. What I came for. All right, then I mirror image. Then they play one of these. We just we kill all their blockers, but we don't kill them. I guess they don't have to block the one five. I think I'm just gonna wait till next round of mirror image. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait till next round. Let's just play this card. Worried that was just going to take out the spell shield, but I want to do that for Daybreak. From all the regions we are flood. The day is young. Mustache ready. Okay. Cool. Another rose for the garden. All right, good win. So I really liked how this deck looked, this Leona LeBlanc. It did look really good. You know, like we just have a lot of very good attackers, large bodies. We have a ton of stuns with Leona, Sentry, and, Sol and the Sunhawk. And of course, the Leona with the Robin gets you, gets you a lot more stuns. You have that um, cool top end with Tactician and Kato. Um, and then you have just like, like I said, like good bodies, good attackers, good blockers, and some pretty good spells. Ravenous Flock is awesome with all these stuns. You get to play Loping Telescope, one of the best cards in the game. This is actually really sweet. The Sunburst, we never really cast Sunburst and we never really had time to, never really thought about it. With with having all the stuns, slow speed Sunburst seems kind of expensive and not necessary. I could see getting rid of these. Maybe, and maybe playing another Tactician. And then, and then maybe just playing like one Shield Bear or Priestess in the early for like early game stuff or you know like how just priestess can get you like whatever crazy invoke card that kind of replaces that sunburst anyway which is an another you know basically another daybreak card to help leona level up because there's a couple of times where we didn't have things to play early but really the, the first two rounds you just want the soldier telescope so you don't really want to sunhawk the first two rounds normally so yeah maybe get like one shield bear in here it just didn't feel like the, the sunbursts were anything we had time to do so that could be maybe something. We'd try that out. Um, yeah, just never. But then again, you, you could play against like Viegos and other things like where you really want the Sunburst. So I, I'm i not sure. I, you know, it's risky not playing Sunburst. Maybe you only play one Tactician still, but you just play, just play one Sunburst. Instead of playing two Sunbursts, you just get one other early thing, like one Shield Bear. Okay. Leona LeBlanc picking up a win. Looking, uh, picking up a lot of wins, looking good. I think this could be a, you know, just a, a decent rank deck. So again, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, try this deck out. This is again, another deck that looks looks pretty solid. Let me know how it goes for you. I'll probably try this one over in rank two um, and see how it goes. But, but that's gonna be it for Leona LeBlanc. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.